Welcome back for some more Mario Odyssey. We are playing in the Seaside Kingdom today, and we're gonna see how many more moons we can find. Um, although Cappy says we're good to move on, there are 54 total locations right now in Seaside Kingdom, and we found about 10 of those locations. So there's a good 40, 40 plus moons left, and I wanted to check a few things out. All right, so she says, to fully enjoy the pleasures of Bublin, you must wear clothes you can entirely relax in. You are not dressed for the hard, relaxing resort life at all. You may not come in. Oh man. So I put on the pirate outfit, figuring that we would, uh, we would need to do, okay, so we need seeds to grow flowers. But I put on the pirate outfit, hoping that if there was a, um, outfit we needed to wear just to be able to travel, I would be in it already. But clearly I picked the wrong outfit. So here we go. Over here there's a rocket. So let's see where this rocket takes us. So again, just be the launch. I've had some success recently in these these uh, rocket levels. Um, after after some struggles in uh, what was the one? The strange neighborhood was a rough one. Okay, so you can use Cappy to really just clear out the clouds if you're having trouble seeing, so that you can see where where the ground is that you can walk into. <clears throat> Okay, so that shouldn't shoot off again. Okay, the moon's over there in the distance and that shouldn't shoot off again unless we wanted it to. You could do so by hitting it with your cap now to see if there's anything out there. Oh, Barbie farted. <laughs> All right, so our dog, our dog oh. is rough over there. Oh my God, it's the stinkiest fart. <laughs> oh, Barbie. <laughs> I like the game you're playing. Yeah, so Barbie's on the other couch and she's asleep. Same and uh, and she just rocked the world over there with Kelly. I like that. What are you playing? This is Mario Odyssey. This is Mario Odyssey? Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. You don't know remember Mario Odyssey? I don't remember it being like this. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything really for me to do here other than just continue along and make sure I'm on the right path. I didn't get a good look. So you have to either use Cappy or backtrack. I, I am gonna continue forward with Cappy. It does look like there's something over to the left here. Your call if you wanted to do it now. I'm gonna take a look over, see what's there. There's a lot of space. Oh, all right, that would have been dangerous. Uh, that doesn't look good. Ooh, there's a chest. Boom, that's our first moon tonight. Sunken treasure in the cloud sea, nice. All right, so you got one. We did see the one off uh, in the distance, which is probably the main moon that we're looking for in this level. Um, but at times they're gonna they're gonna hide some throughout the level on us, and there we go. Sweet. All right, well I'm not too far away. Just got to make sure that uh, I got myself set up pretty good to not fall off the ledges here. So these, it does look like these will have a triggering effect. You hit one and now it's going to shoot off and keep hitting the others. So let them all expose themselves first so that you know where they're going to be shooting. And then you can move on. And it doesn't look like there's a gap here. Which makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to check around to see if there's any coins. Nothing of interest there. Boom, there we go. Moon number two today. Wadding in the cloud sea. Nice. Wading in the cloud sea. Sweet, so now we can warp back through our rocket. All right, so we're up to 14 moon locations. The next thing that we are gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna wanna get changed 
into a different outfit because I'm really curious what's inside that house that um, that they told me I was wearing the wrong outfit for. Now you could you could easily warp if you think about it ahead of time. I usually start running without thinking about warping. Um, there we go. Some more stars. Coins. There we go. So on um, for an outfit, you're aiming for the purple dory. So I think we need the resort hat because she said it needs to look like we're relaxed. So we're getting the resort hat. We're going to pop that on. And then we're also going to pop on the resort outfit if we have enough clothes, uh, enough shells. Sweet. So we're in. The only other thing could be the sailor outfit, but I really don't think that's what she means by relaxing. Now here we go, we're gonna take the quick way back, which is just by warping. Yeah, I think she was over here. Now you can talk to her again and she'll probably open the door for us. There you go, she says, you have achieved the perfect ensemble for relaxation. Please enjoy yourself within. For sure, let's see what's inside. Care to dance, okay. <laughs> so I'm not doing this part of it. Mario's just dancing on his own because he really enjoys dancing. It's a, it's a nice little hula he's got going on there. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> I got an audience today. Sorry. A relaxing dance, moon number three tonight. And Mario's still dancing. I guess you can just come in here and you can just hang out and dance the whole time if you really want to. I don't know how much more I need him to dance. She says, be one with the waves, care to dance. All right, moving on. Beach volleyball court, have you played? You might enjoy it. Just touch the ball to return it. The volley continues until the ball hits the ground. Okay, can you volley the ball 15 times? So this reminds me a lot of the jump rope. So all you really gotta do is run over to the location that it's gonna land. Okay, so I could jump as well if I need to. I could throw Cappy, that's probably helpful. Um, but you're aiming for 15. And you'll probably get a moon out of it. <laughs> Woo, I got lucky there. Don't be afraid to throw Cappy. All right. Oh, it was a little more difficult than I thought. All right, give it another try. Okay, so. The ball takes forever to get to you as well. I think when it hits the ground, you get probably a split second or so where you could probably continue the game where they're not going to penalize you quite as much. Alright. Whew! Got lucky with the kick there. Oh, Mario, we're getting close again. Hopefully we don't max out at 12. 13. Two more. One more, Mario. Oh no! Oh my gosh, we're right there! Here we go. Oh, I think I threw my cap and hit that random snail out there. That's what he gets. Innocent bystander, a little collateral damage. It's 
go, Mario. Ooh, that was a close one. You know what's interesting is I always hit a really nice back to her, like almost perfect, and then she like tries to run me around in circles. I feel like maybe she should just hit it straight to me. Okay, so that one hit the ground and bounced and it didn't cause any issues. So if you get to it quick enough, you're okay. Sweet, so she dropped the moon off at 15. Oh, there you go. Now Cappy tells us we can throw him. Now we're just lighting it up, Cappy. 19, good work. So we can go over and collect our moon. Boom, there we go. Beach Volleyball Champ. Nice. Now let's see what she has, 100 times. So if you've got the time to hit it 100 times and you've got the skill set, good for you. I, I can't do it right now. But if you do that, you'll probably get another moon. So I'm going to have to try and do that uh, another time. So you've got a lot of shell coins over here. So that'll get us up to 52 out of our 100. And then we're going to continue on to find our next our next moon. And where I... Ooh, there we go. Okay. Usually when you see the cleft here, that's going to indicate that there's there's a timer challenge to get, the, to get to another moon. So we're going to need to run across there. Oh, okay. So I wasn't ready to go, so we'll try again. So you know behind you is gonna be the flower that's gonna help you run faster. So once you hit it, get yourself lined up. There you go. And you just run across and then uh, your moon's gonna be there. So the key is really just having, having that speed burst set up for you. So there we go. We got taking notes, ocean surface dash. I'm trying to think if the next place where we want to go. To the top of the pole up here, we know that we have um, the guy that helps us fly. I think like there's something on top of uh, the yellow one. There's a moon on top of that dory over there, but we got that last time we were playing, so we're going to skip that for tonight. But we know <laughs> that there's a snail down here at the glass house. I believe it is that enjoys or he wants to see someone that can fly. So we'll, we'll try and get there at some point. But I want to go down this to see what we got down here. All right. So we've got a, a 2D version. Where's Mario at? All right. So I'm up top here. And we could see about halfway down the screen um, that there's a moon. So I have to figure out the quickest way to get up there. Oh no, I missed. Hmm. There's about four different tubes over here. So I'm wondering if each tube is gonna put us somewhere different in the course. And you're gonna to need to use the proper direction of the course to get over to your moon. This does not appear to be the right way. Uh, so we did that one. So let's come across and try this tube over here. And see if that puts us in a different location. Okay, so this is the first one that I tried. So what I'm going to do this time... This didn't help me. It didn't exactly help me get where I need to go, but it will make it so that you're able to get these coins that are over here. Especially if you're trying to collect all of your shell coins. 
you're gonna want to make sure that you come through this way. Now we just have to figure out how to get into the tube that'll bring us into the middle there. Let's take a look and see if there's anything that stands out. Oh, sweet. So the first time you went through, we were setting up these blocks from below. So that this time when you come through, you're able to jump and get your moon. So there we go. Ocean bottom maze treasure. Boom! So we've gotten about six moons already tonight. We have about 54 total locations we're looking for before we, we move on to the next level. So one place that I did want to go back to as well is going to be um, where we had the, the Miss Goomba and the Mr. Goomba because it looked like there was going to be additional stuff for us to do up there. Let's just collect these coins on the way. Yeah, last time we went up, we had to bring, we had to bring the Goombas, four of them. In order to get the star from uh, Miss Goomba. And we'll also try over here. It looks like there could be some additional, additional items over here hidden. So here you go, we got some more shells. So we're up to 61 out of the 100. Let's see if there's anything off to the side here. And here you can see, it doesn't look like there's much in the water. A couple shells here. No, no moons here, so to speak. So, um, we do have to go up... Up the mountain on this side. Where we'll be able to get a few more little coins. if there's anything at the top. Now I see I see glowing. Sometimes the glowing is good. Sometimes it's going to be Goombas. Let's see what we're going to get here. Ooh! Nice! The Back Canyon Excavate. Boom! Oh, and it looked like there was a seed up there as well. So you're going to want to go back up top to grab your seed because there were some seed planters over by that house on the other side of the island. So what we're going to want to do is climb our way back up. Be a little more careful when you're walking across. Uh, you have a little thin strip here. So first thing you should do is clear out your Goombas. and you just grab your seed and you're gonna have to run it all the way back. So it's gonna take a little bit to get the seed back. Because you, you, can't, you can't warp once you have the seed. You're just gonna have to take your time walking over. Let's get another moon at the top there. On the left. So we'll drop this off and maybe we'll just hang left there. There's a pipe, I don't think we've been in that pipe either. So we got a lot, this is a, for condensed space, this is a rather large level with a lot going on. And the seeds, there's four of them spread throughout this level, it looks like. You're just going to bring them up top of this house here and just drop it into the planter. Right. And you'll have to come back in maybe 10, 15 minutes to get your moon. And we haven't been in here either. Let's sink down real quick, Mario. Let's see what's under here. Okay. All right, so there's five chests. 
So I'm gonna start with the right one. Okay, so it tells you what order you have to open them. So just make sure you paid attention to that for when you come back. I don't know if you take these, these guys out. If that's gonna bring the chests back. Yep, there they are. He said, do we need to open them in a certain order? Of course, Kathy, let's do this one first. Second. Third. And fourth. Boom! Sweet! So this one's treasure trap hidden in the inlet. Okay. So let's continue out here. Now the one I wanted to try and get to, it looked like at the top of this mountain, um, that we have another moon. There's a random space in here. Looks like water's in here. Maybe you could wall jump? No. Okay, so it looks like we're going up this wall any way. Like a hidden wall. It looks like it says keep. So, uh, uh, take a picture of hen art. Okay. Go home. Check the album anytime. Okay, well, we know what it looks like. Um, how to get up there. Because you can't just go into the wall. All right, well, let's try the tube. I don't think we've been in this tube yet. Okay, so this one looks like it's gonna be treasure hidden in the room, so cunningly hidden. Your eyes will be of no use. So we've seen one of these before where the ground, uh, their controller's gonna shake, and that's where the moon is gonna be. shaking everywhere. It's just because I'm walking. All right, let me double check with him how, uh, how he expects us to find this thing. He said, you must feel the ground beneath you with exquisite care. Good luck, my friend. That's tough because it's all... It's all shaking. I'm not feeling anything different between locations. A whole lot of shaking on the on the screen and the controller. This felt a little bit more. I pretty much. Uh, all right, it was not shaking right there. So I pretty much just did ground pound wherever and that's where it came up. We'll take it though, a rumble on the seaside floor. And we're probably just gonna find one more moon tonight. Um, I'm, I'm now gonna go back to where I was originally trying to go, which is, uh, which is up towards, yeah, the Goombas. Uh, I don't know if we've been up here. So we got 70 of our coins, but up towards the, um, where the like Miss Goomba was, just cause it did look like that, that area had changed. So I'm curious what new is over there. And what the change really was that I had seen was that these flowers 
just work their way up the path now. So I don't know if, uh, if there's a reason for us needing to grab them. Oof. Maybe we have to race someone. Doesn't look like anything new up here. Let's see where we want to explore next. Oh. I'm gonna hide up there. So you could warp over. I think the lighthouse is a good location because you can get the guy that flies. You can also see a lot more of the island to see if there's anywhere that you wanted to go. We have been in that tube before. Oh man, look, there's a... Um, a chest up there, I'm not exactly sure how you would get all the way up there, though. As well as some... Some coins. And it looks like a cave entrance, so actually we're gonna go explore over there real quick. Those coins are up high. Alright, so we're gonna wall jump. Or not. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to wall jump. Huh. It's an interesting. Interesting location there. It's kind of like the other wall, it, o it opens up, but we're not able to get in at this point. Not sure if there's something that I need to do um, or progress. There might be somewhere where you have to progress the level along first. So we're gonna move move on and grab our, our flying guy one more time and just see if we can locate one more moon with him. And the moon that I'm gonna try and get. So if you talk to this guy here, he says, oh, that guy is obsessed with seeing someone fly from here to the glass palace. Everybody likes different stuff, I guess. So my guess is if we can take this guy here and fly down right to him, he's gonna give us a moon. Boom, he said you did it. Your flight was truly an amazing sight to behold. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Yes, sir, what are we getting? Boom! Lighthouse Leaper. <laughs> so there we go. So that's going to be our last moon of the night. If you guys enjoyed uh, hanging out with me to play some more Mario Odyssey, make sure that you subscribe and turn on your bell notification. All right, thanks for hanging out.